Okay, guys. So, I initially was going to review episodes 5, or episodes 1 through 6 of the act. As you can see by the title, I'm not doing that because I went on Hulu and I saw that episode 7 was up. So, I decided to watch it so that I can review episodes 1 through 7. But, episode 7 was so... Actually, first of all... Welcome back, Team Fever. Back again with another video. I completely forgot to say the intro to this because, Jesus Christ, I just watched episode 7 and, oh my gosh. Emotional roller coaster. I never thought I'd be saying that. Jesus. Oh my gosh. That episode was so intense. As if the show. Well, before episode 7, I would describe this show as being weird. And it just gets weirder and weirder. And you think. Because a lot of times I forget that this is a true story. Because even though they put it up on the show after every episode goes off or before it starts, they always said that the characters and the, the incident is very. Um dramatic like they like they add some stuff to it being true so i so first of all let me just tell how i got into this this show um i got hulu i've been had hulu and i just saw the act a lot of times like on the the screen where it's like it will be debuting soon or whatever or coming out soon and i've heard of it and like i should watch it well i didn't watch it until episode last week so episode six was up and i watched episode one i didn't really know what to expect i had no clue what the show was about i just seen a bald head girl who i assume had cancer and her, somebody who i assume is her mom i didn't know what type of show it was i watched episode one and i was so confused because well i wasn't confused at first um, but at the end of episode one, they showed that the mom had died, was stabbed. So I'm thinking, okay, okay, with a show like this, and you see the what the picture is, um, I'm assuming that the little girl killed her mom. So I went on YouTube, and I decided to look at the trailer of this show, and oh my god. I, even though I already assumed that she had killed her mom, I already assumed that. I, everything took me by surprise because I didn't know what to expect like she started walking and apparently all of the, the illnesses were fake and I just had to do some research and oh my gosh this show was it, it was insane but let me get to the episode because the reason why I decided not to review episodes one through six is because episode seven was I really had I was like this because throughout episodes one through six I was completely against the mom. I didn't feel bad for her kind of at all. I was all on Gypsy's side. I thought that the boyfriend was a weirdo. I thought, like, is he slow? I thought that a few times and stuff like that. But in this episode, like, every, and I thought Gypsy was 100% innocent. I liked her. I, I thought she was cool, and I felt bad for her. But then I watched this episode, and... I don't think that they should have killed the mom. There was so many other things that they could have did. They could have just ran away. And then, like, to learn that the boy had these mental issues, and I felt so bad when his mom, when the FBI came, and or the SWAT team, or whatever, and the mom, you can tell, was just so sad. She's like, listen, my boy has mental issues. Whatever he did, he did not mean it. And I just, I felt so bad for her. The dad, like, they didn't know what was going on. They just know they had a son that was, he, he got, and she had said, like, he got a pizza job, and I thought, you know, everything was going better for him. And Gypsy did tell this boy to kill her, her mom. Um, I, I kind of still don't feel bad for the mom, because I feel bad that she died, but the disease that the mom has, because the mom has a disease, or had a disease, so that's why she was doing all this to her daughter in the first place. I just, I kind of feel like some of this is Gypsy's fault. I unfortunately, I mean, at first I didn't. Because, number one, if you were so not sick and so okay, then if you were in the right mind space, then why didn't you just leave? And I, I feel like that about a lot of stuff. Because you were 23 years old, 22, and even though I know she grew up being like sheltered, so maybe she wasn't like really 23, even though she was born for 23 years or 22 years or whatever, but 
You do not have to kill your mom. <laughs> I just don't. She goes to the boy's house and now she just doesn't like anything. So she's complaining about the house and then seeing her go to the grocery store and steal and put all this on. Well, and now that I'm saying this out loud, I'm starting to put together that she's got all this from her mom. Ugh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> See, this thing is still sending me on an emotional roller coaster as I talk about it. It's so hard. It was so hard. To, I, my eyes were glued to episode seven. I just, I knew that if I reviewed, tried to review episodes one through seven, this video would be over an hour long. It was, this was, oh my gosh. But anyway, yeah, all the scenes with him and Gypsy were kind of disturbing, not including episode seven, but the scenes in episode five and six, the, the bathroom scene in the movies, disturbing, the hotels or the motel scene in season six, disturbing, the the Skype calls, all that was disturbing and just hard to watch. So, Lacey is Gypsy's neighbor, or across the street neighbor, um, who was basically when, G when Gypsy was little, she looked up to her. Lacey, the reason why I bring Lacey up is because the actual Gypsy Rose, who's in jail, prison right now, says that she doesn't mind the show, she thinks everything's cool or whatever, but she really doesn't like how they portray Lacey because Lacey was all to the good. She was a good person and they had a little bit of incidents in there or scenes in the show where it showed her being a bad influence because of the smoking scene, right? But I don't think that that was all that bad. Now, I do want to talk about Mel, who is the across the street neighbor Lacey's mom. She was one of my favorites in the beginning because she was keeping it real. She saw Dee Dee stealing at that mall. She gave Dee Dee all types of side eyes. She threw so much shade towards her and stuff. But then she, when Dee Dee started having trouble with, uh, with Gypsy, she was there for Dee Dee and she told her because she had trouble with Lacey. So she just assumed that Dee Dee was doing it for the right reason because Dee Dee was such a good liar and manipulator. Dee Dee said, um, listen, I just try to give Gypsy everything I want. I liked Mel a lot. I really do. Uh, and let me just say, the casting, whoever casted this show did an A1 job. Everybody was so good. The boy who plays Nick, amazing. Because uh, you you got me fooled because I think you really are are crazy. You really are crazy. Because, oh my God, he does a great job playing playing Nick. Um, Dee Dee, obviously, um, I forgot her actual name, but she's always good inside every single thing she's in. And I didn't really know much about the girl who plays Gypsy, but um, she does a really good job too. <sighs> but back to this episode. So, when they hide inside of the closet, I just was shaking my head. And then, when they delivered, they got the knife mailed to the house, and Gypsy wanted to get rid of it as soon as they got it, and the boy... The part that made me feel the most bad was when she was just yelling at him, and he was just like... Uh, cause he didn't know what to do and she always is like going at him and he always says there's one thing I know is that I will take care of you and he is he had mental issues I feel so bad that I, I guess I technically don't know but I think from what I heard they both are in jail prison I heard that she got 10 years and that he got life I don't know if that's true. I really don't. But if that is true, my opinion is 10 years I think is good. 10 years is good for Gypsy. I think she definitely need to go to jail. Definitely need to go to prison. She needs to go away. Not just because of this whole, well, yeah, because she killed her mom. She needs to go to jail. Um, and the boy, I don't think he should have got. I really, I honestly... I think he should have got 10 years just like Gypsy or less. I think he should have got less. I have more sympathy for Nick than I do for Gypsy because if he really had mental issues and all that and the parents, like I, just hearing the parents say what she said to the police, that's what really made me feel bad. And Gypsy told him to do this and every single thing he did, he thought he was doing for a good reason. His personality disorder, I never even heard of that. Um, um, 
Gypsy told him that he was a hero and to just, just tell the truth. Just tell the complete truth. And um, I was a prisoner. You saved me. You are a hero. Just tell the truth. So, inside the prison, he did exactly what she said. I was a little bit confused by the detective that was asking Nick if he ever had sex with a dead body. Did he put his penis on her? Did he lick her? Did he slob on? Was that, was, can somebody explain to me, was he, and then his record. So was his record that he did that before? I, I'm confused by that. I don't know. But, oh, so Gypsy told him to tell the truth and he completely did. And he even like contemplated in his head when she said, did Gypsy know that you were going to kill her mom? And then he's told the truth. He said she asked me to. That's why I feel bad because he had mental issues and he was doing good. If he was at his house, I guess I don't know the whole story. I want to watch the documentary because I know it's one out or it's many out. And this happened not that long ago, too. I know this review is all over the place, but I just don't know. I didn't take no notes. The paper I'm looking at is just literally the characters' names. So... I'm just going off of what I remember. I watched the show like two hours ago. Um, Gypsy, the jail scene, well, pretty much this whole episode is where I, my view of her just went down and down and more and more down. Because she was lying. It's like she wanted him to get caught. She's in there crying, doing all this acting, acting like she had no clue about any of this. When she wasn't even the one who stabbed, but she did orchestrate it. So, I don't know, it's like she was selling her boyfriend out to dry and wanted him to just go away and wanted herself to live this lavish lifestyle. And the detective that was questioning Gypsy, but I think most detectives are like this. Like, I love how he was just, he was being honest. He said, do not dig yourself inside of a big hole. Just tell the truth. And, you know, he just let her keep talking and he just he's just listening and he went to get her food and he's like hey did you change your mind on what you're gonna say and she just keep going and going and i felt bad for dd or i'm um, not dd but well i do feel <laughs> i felt bad for mel and lacy in the scene where they were watching this unfold on tv and they saw gypsy walking can you imagine this i cannot believe this is a crazy story is this the craziest story i've ever heard because i i never knew anything about this story until a week ago when i watched episode one I binge watched episode one through four, and then the next day I watched episodes five and six, and today I watched episode seven. So, yeah. Dee Dee, I felt bad for her because she died. Because she was killed. But then again, like, she was killed, but if she was not killed, if they would have just ran away and called the police, and she, I would have wanted her to go to jail for life, so. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, all the scenes um, with him and Gypsy were kind of disturbing. I felt bad when Gypsy Not was saying, like, seven, is this how your mom the does scenes it? The scenes in episode Because her mom was taking care the, of her. The bathroom it's scene in the movies, disturbing. Her mom the was hotel, taking care of her, but hotel scene in season over six, taking care of her. Disturbing. And I don't know that disease the that Skype caused. Had, all I, that can, was I looked it up, just but I just do not know how to pronounce it at all. I looked up the little thing where it shows you how to pronounce it, and I still, I was like, I'm not even going to try this. Um... Sorry if I keep saying, um, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to edit this video at all or just post it. <laughs> uh, so, the reason why I feel bad for um, Nick is because he had mental issues. And everything that he did, he thought he was doing for a good reason. The whole thing with the Facebook thing was just where they were posting this stuff. Like, to me... Nick did what you wanted him to do, Gypsy, and you, it seemed like you were setting him up to get caught, and you wanted him to go away because he did everything you wanted, and then it's like, you set him up to, let's get caught. Like, he did every single thing you wanted, and then you exposed it by doing the Facebook thing, and, like, what was your, I don't know. Like I said, I just have mixed emotions. And then with the mom, I kind of feel bad a little bit, just a little bit, because throughout every single thing that was going on, throughout all these doctor's visits, nobody, and her family, all this stuff, nobody helped her. She has this disease and nobody caught on to it. Like, I know in real life, 
the way she got away with this is because she went to different hospitals. So there was no medical records and she went to different hospitals. But how did you get Gypsy to get these surgeries, to get a feeding tube and all this crap when it would never happen today? At least I don't think it would. But those doctors, like the, the doctor, the police, like her family, like none of them helped. None of them helped. And I just, I am, I don't know, I'm lost for words, y'all. I know this review is all over the place, but this show will have you all over the place if you like me. Episode 7 was insane. Insane, y'all. And I know I'm probably missing a lot, and I probably didn't say everything I want to say, but I do want to end this video now. This I'm going to end it by saying this show is, I don't really know what to call it. I don't want to call it good or amazing or anything like that because it's based on a true story and I wish this story never happened. So I'll just say that this story is, this episode was intense and this, this show was crazy. This show is, this show is, it's, 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 it's something y'all. But uh, yeah, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share this video on all forms of social media. Until next time, catch you later.